are coming up every teacher is trying to send uh, videos and other things you must be getting really troubled some are getting panicky some are uh, losing interest possibilities there uh, but did you go how many of you went through the um, english uh, um, question paper and the explanation i had given just raise your hand ah okay good 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 any any difficulty did you understand so now the question paper only you have only 10 mcqs multiple choice questions only for a 10 marks and 10 questions okay then all the rest only passages from each passage you have got four questions first two two plus two plus three plus three 10 marks so you have a 10 marks question passage from drama 10 marks passage from the cross 10 marks passage from the poetry So thirty marks. So thirty plus MCQ is ten marks, forty marks. That's all. Clear. In the MCQ itself, you have uh, the division is like this. MCQs. You have ten. First one and two. One to two are uh, from poetry. One to two are from poetry. Three, four, five, six. That is the three to six are from story, and seven to ten are from drama. So this is equation. Okay, you should be careful. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. It's going to be a lucky lottery for you. For ten marks only, you have all together. So for that, you cannot uh, afford to spend so much time. Only two from poetry, four from story, four from drama. Clear? Okay. So don't waste your time so much on it. You have to concentrate more on passage. I'm not saying don't prepare. You need to prepare, but at the same time, you have to spend more time for the passages. Passages is going to carry you thirty marks. So ten marks each for every section. That's it. Any other doubt? Anybody has any other doubt? Just raise your hand regarding question paper. If you have any other doubt, just raise your hand. Shyam Shukta, his hand is up or I have forgotten to do it down. Shyam Shukta wants to ask something. Okay, okay, right. Anybody, anybody wants to ask anything regarding question regarding? Okay, Alek. Yeah. Alek, you can mute yourself. Ah, yeah. Tell me. Good morning, sir. Ah, good morning. Sir, I think sir, you are muted, sir. Oh, really? Sorry, sorry, sir. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, you are not able to hear. Yes. I see. I'll uh, here. It is not showing. I will just. Uh... No, you are audible. Sir, you are audible now. Network problem. Eh? Network problem. I think. Now, now you are able to hear. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, good. So, any any other doubt regarding question paper? Nobody. Okay, then you will go ahead with the class. So you don't uh, don't get panicky. Slowly prepare. You will have only Act One from drama, poetry. You will have both the poems. Story. You will have both the story. That's all. That's the syllabus. Okay. Yesterday we were at uh, page number one twenty-five, page number one hundred twenty-five. Persia had given a big rope to Shylock, and when Shylock was about to have his play, she said, "Tarry a bit, tarry a bit, wait a bit." Now one more condition, that is, you should not drop even a single drop of blood. That's one condition. And second condition is that you should not cut either more or less. Should be exactly one pound of flesh. That is where we stopped. And Graciano praised the lawyer. We start from three twenty-five, line three twenty-five. Shylock, is that the law, Persia? Thyself shall see the act. For as thou art just justice, be assured. Thou shalt have justice more than thou desirest. 
So you will get only justice. You can have a check. Graciano, a learned judge. Mark, do a learned judge. Shylock, I take this office then, pay the bond price and let the Christian go. I take this offer. So now when Shylock realized that he is not going to get a pound of flesh because he cannot cut the flesh without shedding blood. Also he cannot cut exactly a pound of flesh without any difference. Therefore he says, I take this offer then pay the bond thrice and let the Christian go. That is 3 into 3, 9,000 ducats. Let them pay and let the Christian go. Basanio, here is the money. Page number 126. Basanio, here is the money. So Basanio is ready to offer the money. Persia says soft. Soft means stop. The Jews shall have all justice. Stop, no haste. He shall have nothing but the penalty. Ah, no, no. Don't give the money. He will have only the penalty because he always wanted to have the penalty. So we will give him. Graciano, O Jew, an upright judge, a learned judge. So once again, Graciano praises just like Shylock praised Persia. Persia, therefore prepare thee to cut off the flesh, shed thou no blood, nor cut thou less nor more, but just a pound of flesh. If thou cuts more or less than a just pound, be it but so much as makes it light or heavy in the substance, or the division of the twentieth part of one poor scruple. Nay, if the scale do turn, but in the estimation of a hair, thou diest, and all thy goods are confiscated. So earlier it was uh, Antonio who was asked to get ready, exposing his chest for cutting the flesh. Now it is the turn of Shylock. So the lawyer asks Shylock, please come, why are you are waiting? Come, come and cut the flesh. But only thing is, you should not shed blood and you should not cut neither more nor less. If you are going to even make a difference by 20th part of a, a little bit. That is to say, uh, or as makes it light or heavy in the substance, or the division of the 20th part of one poor scruple. Scruple meaning is given there, a very small unit of weight, around 20 grams. Around 20 grams. Even that much difference is going to make, I will not agree. Then she again reduces it and says, Nay, if the scale do turn, but in the estimation of a hair, even, even by a hair, you know how much a hair weighs. A hair weighs almost nothing like. So even that much difference should not be there. If the one hair weight of meat is more or less, then I will not accept it. Thou diest and all thy goods are confiscated. If you do so, you will be put to death and your property will be taken forcefully by the law, by the court. Graciano, a second Daniel, a Daniel Jew, now infidel, I have the on the hip. So, to somebody, to catch somebody by hip or get somebody by hip means caught very badly. That's the meaning. You have kabadi, 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 you know, so they play kabadi. So, if you are able to hold them by the hip, means it's a terrible grip. Then the other person cannot escape. So, he tells, oh, what a wonderful judge. Second Daniel has come. Then he tells the Jew, I have caught you by the hip. I have got you by hip, means I have caught you very badly. You are caught very badly. I have thee on the hip. Persia. Why does the Jew pause? Take thy for future. Why are you waiting? Come, come and cut the flesh. Shylock, give me my principal and let me go. So Shylock is now fed up. He says, give me the principal. Principal is the amount that was 
given to Antonio. Just give me the principal amount. That is the money which was uh, given to Antonio as land, loan. Just give me that is enough. Basanio, I have it ready for thee. Here it is. Basanio once again offers it. But Persia says, he has refused it in the open court. He shall have merely justice and his board. Persia says, no, no, no. See, I offered it many times. In the court, I asked him, do you like to take it? Or a double of it, triple of it. And it was offered even so much, double, three times more, six times more. He did not accept it. He said, I want to have only the bond, nothing but the bond. Therefore, Shylock will have only the bond. Graciano. A Daniel still say, I, a second Daniel, I thank the Jew for teaching me that word. So, once again, Graciano thanks and he tells uh, Shylock, thank you Shylock for teaching me the word. What, what is that word? Daniel has come to judgment. Now this is a second Daniel. That's what Graciano says. Shylock, shall I not have barely my principal? Principal is the base amount. Base amount, that is uh, the amount that was uh, given to Antonio here. Shall I not have barely my base amount at least? Persia. Thou shalt have nothing but the forfeiture. To be so taken at thy peril, Jew. No, you will not have. You will not have the base amount. You will not have the principal. You will have only the forfeiture. Forfeiture is a penalty. To be taken at thy peril, Jew. Peril is risk. It's at, see, at your own risk. At your own risk. That is, when he takes, blood should not be shed and it should not be more or less. That is a risk. Shylock, why then the devil give him good of it? I will stay no longer question. Why then the devil give him good of it? That is a in that case, why do you want me to remain in the court? I will go. I will go off. I shall leave the court. Persia, Tari, Jew, wait, Jew, the law hath yet another hold on you. It is enacted in the laws of Venice, if it be proved against an alien, that they direct or indirect attempts, that by direct or indirect attempt, he Seek the life of any citizen, the party against the which he doth contrive, shall seize one half his goods. The other half comes to the privy officer of the state, and the offender's life lies in the mercy of the duke only, against all other voice. So, nothing difficult to understand. There's just one or two words, meanings, if you know. Then you understood everything. Enacted. Enacted is decreed. Enacted is decreed or written in the laws of Venice. Again, it's an alien. Alien is a foreigner who has come from outside the country. Here, the foreigner is Shylock. Because Shylock is not a native of Venice. Whereas, Antonio is a native of Venice. The party. Party is a person against person. Party is person. Privy officer of the state. Privy officer is a state treasury. Khajana. Khajana. The state treasury. Okay. So what uh, Persia is saying is, no, no, wait, wait. You cannot just go away like that. There is one more hold on you. Hold is catch. There is something more that holds you. What is that? Uh, according to the rules of Venice, if any foreigner tries to plot against the life of a citizen, life of the native, then his property will be confiscated by the state treasury. All his property will go to the state treasury. And his life also is in danger. Only the duke can forgive him. That's what the entire thing means. 
the last part and the offender's life lies in the mercy of the duke only against all other voices that is uh, against all other voices in the voice means nobody else can set him free only the duke can deliver him in which predicament i say thou standest for it appears by manifest proceeding that indirectly and directly to thou hast contrived against the very life of the defendant and thou hast incurred the danger formerly by me rehearsed down therefore and beg mercy of the duke so persia makes it very clear in which predicament i say thou standest i am telling you you are standing in such a predicament difficult situation you are standing in such a difficult situation that is what is the difficult situation for it appears because it appears it looks by manifest proceeding that indirectly and directly to thou hast contrived against the very life of the defendant defendant is accused defendant is the one who is accused here who is the defendant antonio is the defendant and thou hast incurred that means you are liable to or subject to the danger that is the penalty formerly by me rehearsed you remember earlier uh, porcia had uh, asked uh, shylock would you like to arrange a doctor so that uh, antonio will not be bled to death and uh, he asked is it given in the bond then she said no it is not given explicitly clearly but out of charity out of kindness you please arrange someone at your own expense and shylock said no i cannot do it because not it is not given in the bond so that was a rehearsal of porcia to find out whether he was intending to kill antonio so now both explicitly and implicitly directly and indirectly it is proved that you have been plotting the murder of antonio so when you said that you want to have a pound of flesh close to the heart close to the chest of antonio it was clear evidence that you were intending to kill that was explicit and what is implicit what is very clear when i asked you to arrange for a doctor so that antonio will not die of bleeding you straight away denied it saying that i have in this is not written in the law not written in the bond therefore both directly and indirectly you were plotting against the life of antonio who is a native of venice and you are a foreigner and by the rule all your property will be confiscated and your life is at the mercy of the duke therefore down down therefore and beg mercy of the duke please go down on your knees and ask pardon from the duke duke graciano beg that thou mayest have leave to hang the cell and yet they thy wealth being for feet to the state thou hast not left the value of a cord therefore thou must be hanged at the state's charge so cord and charge both the meanings are given there charge is expense cord is rope for feet is your right to property beg that thou mayest have leave to hang thyself so he is telling shylock with a lot of vengeance and with kind of very humorously rashiano is saying beg the duke that you may as to have leave to hang yourself get permission and go and hang yourself man but you linger about here and yet the wealth being for free to the state since your wealth will be taken for fully by the state thou hast not left the value of a cord you don't have even 
money to buy a rope to hang with. If you want to hang yourself, you need to buy a rope. For that, you need money. You don't have money because all your property has been confiscated by the state. Therefore, thou must be hanged at the state's charge. So I, I am putting up a proposal that the state should buy a rope and give to Shylock on which he will hang himself. Next page, 128. Duke, that thou shalt see the difference of our spirit, I pardon thee thy life before thou ask it. For half thy wealth, it is Antonio's. The other half comes to the general state, which humbleness may drive unto a fire. See, the Duke is very magnanimous. Earlier, you remember, the Duke had asked, if you are not going to show mercy to others, how do you expect others to show mercy to you? How do you expect God to show mercy to you? So now, the Duke speaks, that thou shalt see the difference of our spirit, I pardon thee, thy life before thou ask it. This, that is a, speaking about the disposition, attitude. Attitude. Difference of our spirit. Attitude. So, difference, difference of our spirit means attitude. One's attitude or disposition. So, thou dost, that thou shalt see the difference of our spirit. That is the spirit of Shylock and the spirit of Duke. They are different. Attitudes are different. To show that, I pardon thee thy life before thou ask. Even before you ask, I am pardoning. I am sparing your life. I asked you. So many people requested you. The lawyer requested Everybody requested you. You are not showing men. That was your attitude. My attitude is different. I am pardoning you even before you ask it. For half thy wealth. Uh, second condition is, one is uh, his property will be confiscated. First one is his life will be taken away. He will be put to death. That the Duke has forgiven him. Second thing is his property will be confiscated by the state. That he says, for half thy wealth, it is Antonio's. The other half comes to the general state. Ah. Which humbleness may drive unto a fire. Half of the wealth will go to Antonio, whom you are trying to kill. And another half will go to the state treasure. And if you are humble enough, which humbleness may drive into a fire means if you are humble enough, if you are ready to accept your mistake and ask pardon, then I can reduce it into a fine. 